Hi everyone, welcome to another design lesson video. In each video, I'm going to review some key design principles that you should keep in mind when you're thinking about renovating or decorating your space. So if you have a design dilemma and need some answers, feel free to comment in the section below with your questions. Your dilemma could become one of these design lesson videos right here. Or if you need individual help from me for a renovation you're working on, find me on Patreon. Hey everyone, I've started a Patreon account. If you'd like to follow me there or become a patron, I would appreciate that very, very much. You can find the link in the description below or you can just head over to patreon.com slash design chicky. Thanks for watching and supporting my channel. In the meantime, let's get to today's topic. Trends come and go, but a classic design is timeless. Some would say that classic is boring and plain, devoid of personality, but timeless design stands the test of time and is such a great investment, especially when we're talking about kitchens and kitchen design. The kitchen is the heart of the home. It's also a very permanent, high cost portion of your home. It's definitely not a room where you can change the look easily from one year to the next, unless you have unlimited funds and love to renovate. And in that case, call me. So having a kitchen design that looks great year in and year out makes sense. It's a room where you'll want to make decisions that you won't tire of. And it's great for resale value too. Today, I'm going to give you 10 elements for timeless kitchen design. One of the best ways to keep your kitchen looking classic and timeless is a neutral color palette, especially the cabinets. Some would argue that a white kitchen is plain and boring, but trust me, white kitchens will never go out of style. If you've seen my video on favorite white paints, I'll link it below, you'll know that there are so many white paint options. They all have undertones of color, so you actually have lots to choose from. And of course, neutral colors aren't just white paint colors. You can choose to venture into creams and pale grays as well. Hey, if you're interested in a video about my favorite neutral paint colors for kitchens, let me know in the comments below. And if you're looking to tempt fate, you could add some neutral wood tones to the mix of cabinetry like this stunning wood stained island. But just know that wood tones come in and out of favor for kitchens especially, so just make sure the wood is more brown than orange or red. Look for words like walnut and medium oak when picking wood stains. Now, you can certainly accessorize your kitchen with color and your lighting can make huge impact to the overall look and feel of your kitchen. But sticking with an overall neutral color palette will provide you with a kitchen that will stand the test of time. It's just kind of classic. Since we're talking about color palettes, a close second to a white slash neutral kitchen is the black and white kitchen. If you want a little more drama, then this combo is a true classic. And again, will never go out of style. Just like a little black dress or a classic tuxedo, or heck, even my own little design assistant. If you only knew what I go through to try to include this sweet face into my videos, I mean, come on, he's the cutest. Anyway, back to the task at hand. I love the look of a two-toned kitchen like the... I Hey, look forward. I like the look of a two-toned kitchen like this white kitchen with a black island as the center point. Here again, another more traditional looking cabinet, but still timeless in the color palette. You could also mix the colors the other way. Do black lower cabinets with white cabinets above. There's a beautiful balance of dark and light in this type of color palette. And an all black kitchen tends to stand the test of time too. They're striking and warm and inviting. Again, black and white anything is a classic and timeless look. One of the biggest decisions in designing the look of your kitchen is the cabinet style, and more specifically, the cabinet door style. Whatever you choose will be quite prominent, so selecting a style that will make your kitchen look timeless is really important. The most timeless door style is the shaker door, as it's been around for more than 100 years. That's pretty timeless. Known for their simple design and recessed middle panel, the shaker door can work with both traditional kitchens and more modern designs. In fact, the very popular farmhouse kitchen is based on more traditional elements, but can easily be updated with more modern touches.
and that's probably why it's so popular. The shaker can be quite simple, or you can add what's called a bead mold on the inside panel like this. This adds a little more interest to the cabinets if you're finding the simple shaker too simple. Straying from the shaker door, you might be tempted to do a raised panel door, but that tends to look much more traditional while the flat panel door will be much, much more modern. The shaker door lends itself to both traditional or modern, so it's definitely a better choice for a timeless look. While we're talking about doors, we should pay some attention to glass inserts in doors. And just like shaker cabinet doors, glass cabinets have been around since the early 1900s. The shaker door actually lends itself really well to a glass insert as the recess panel is replaced with glass. So the look of the kitchen cabinets between closed uppers and glass uppers looks quite seamless. But why are glass door inserts so timeless in kitchen designs? They make your kitchen feel more open and spacious, especially if you have a small kitchen and that's pretty timeless. Small kitchens need to be more open, more spacious feeling. The glass provides less visual weight than when you have closed cabinetry. Strategically placing glass in some of your cabinets can provide a visual break from all the closed storage, and it can provide additional opportunities to decorate your kitchen by showcasing key pieces inside the cabinets. You can have glass cabinets with mullions like this, or just full glass and no mullions like this. You can have glass along just the top cabinets or on either side of the hood fan to amplify that focal point. Or it can be off on its own as a special feature. Glass fronted cabinets are a great alternative to open shelves in kitchens too. For so many years, clients have been asking me if they should choose appliances that aren't stainless steel. I think they feel like stainless steel has been so popular, surely the tide is about to turn. But stainless is still pretty popular and still a pretty safe bet when it comes to the look of a timeless looking kitchen. If you're opting to leave your appliances exposed, then look for the most contemporary style of stainless steel. Otherwise, appliances that are hidden behind cabinet fronts are a great alternative. White or black appliances go in and out of style pretty frequently. But vintage appliances, however, that's your safest bet. They are timeless. Look for brands like Smeg, North Star, Aga. Some of those are pretty pricey, but even General Electric has a new series that looks very charming and traditional. Stoves can be the focal point to any kitchen, especially with all the options for range hoods and range fans, so these classic looking appliances will always be the star. Number five on my list of timeless kitchen designs includes the ever popular subway tile. And yes, you guessed it, it's been around for like a hundred years too. Your choice of backsplash can really date your kitchen. Don't be tempted with trendy glass tiles, sea glass, metallics, or your favorite bright geometric. A backsplash can be changed further down the line, but why would you want to go through the trouble? You want a classic tile, and there's no better tile with staying power than your classic three inch by six inch subway tile. Glossy, crackled, beveled, or handmade, this rectangular shape will be a forever element in your kitchen. You can find slightly different proportions like a two inch by six inch or a two inch by eight inch. They're longer and narrower tiles. They can offer up a more modern touch. But overall, this classic shape will be around for another hundred years. Countertops are another important element in a timeless kitchen, and you can't get more classic and timeless than white marble. The softness and depth that you get from marble cannot be matched. I know the trend of making everything look like marble from phone cases to laptop covers. Yes, plastic laminate countertops too. 
faux marble just looks fake. Always has, always will. So if you can afford real marble counters, you won't be disappointed. Yes, there's maintenance and care involved, but you'll love them forever and they'll look great forever. But stick with the favorites. Carrera marble varies in gray and white veining. There's also the slightly warmer and more dramatic Calcutta marble with touches of gold veining mixed with the gray and white. And if you're looking for something with a bold and striking vein, try the Statuario. They're also beautiful. You could convince me to go with a white quartz countertop instead of marble. They're not as porous as marble and still give you the look of clean, white, fresh marble countertops. But honestly, I know a diamond is forever and so is white marble. The opposite of white counters? Yes, black countertops are also timeless options for your timeless kitchen. Granite counters are known to be less porous than marble, therefore easier to keep maintained in a kitchen. There's less possibility of staining too, but most granite can easily date your kitchen because they are very busy in overall pattern and the colors are quite dramatic, too dramatic. Some of them even sparkle, like I said, too busy, very busy, not good. There is, however, only one granite that I can get on board with, absolute black granite, because it's black, just black. And my favorite way to have it installed is honed. So that shiny black polished surface is removed, giving the counters a softer, warmer look. And if you're not a fan of granite, I also love soapstone. It's also a natural stone similar to granite, but has a softer surface texture and softer overall appearance. It develops a natural patina over time. And you know how much I love patina. It has a beautiful white vein running through it too. It's beautiful and has many amazing qualities for your countertops. It's timeless. Another countertop material that is classic and has been around for years is the butcher block countertop. Although they are definitely not maintenance free, they do last a long time if you're taking care of them on a regular basis. Wood counters are actually very sanitary for food preparation and they're great for chopping, especially for your knives. You'll need to treat the wood with food grade mineral oil every month. And if you ever need or want to refinish them, then you can sand them down and do just that. There are two types end grain where the ends of the fibers are exposed. This makes the counters very durable, but more expensive to purchase. And then there is the edge grain type of butcher block as well. Butcher block adds so much warmth to your kitchen, but also it's a little nod to the past where farmhouse kitchens would have had large butcher blocks like this. I love that look of a chunky butcher block, but the full countertop look is great too. You'll never get tired of butcher block counters, and if you treat them right, they'll never look tired either. And finally, the last element that will make your kitchen designs timeless are the architectural details, or at least restraining yourself from overdoing the architectural details in your kitchen. What I mean is, Simplicity is key. I always say that simplicity is key, but it's true. Classic, timeless details are restrained, refined, simple. Especially when we're talking about architectural details as part of your kitchen cabinetry. It's one thing to want a traditional looking kitchen. It's another to have a kitchen straight out of a Baroque palace in Europe. In fact, even for that time, the kitchens in Baroque palaces were for the staff. They weren't even this ornate back then. Don't add carved appliques, those will date your kitchen. Avoid very detailed pilasters. So architectural detailing should be restrained. Like the corbels holding up your range hood. These should be scaled appropriately, but they don't need to be ornate. I love the look of feet on certain key cabinets like the sink cabinet, but you don't have to have feet everywhere along the kitchen. Crown molding should be free of dentils and rope moldings. Instead, look for smooth, well-scaled crown moldings. Anything that is overblown or over the top tends to lose its sparkle after a while. And your kitchen does not need to be over the top. It's such an important part of your home, the heart of the home. It does not need all that stuff to make it so. So remember, a little goes a long way towards making your kitchen a timeless classic.
So here's your takeaway. When it comes to creating a classic and timeless design for your kitchen, trendy colors, materials, and overly ornate details should be avoided. Look for neutral palettes with white or off-white, cream, or gray cabinetry combined with a shaker style door to suit either modern or traditional concepts. A black and white kitchen is always on point. Pair the palette with white marble countertops or black honed granite. A butcher block is always pleasant to the eye and touch. Appliances with staying power are vintage or traditional in charm, while classic subway tile will create the perfect backdrop and backsplash. And finally, glass cabinets add openness and interest while the finishing architectural details should be simple and elegant. These key elements come together to create the perfect timeless kitchen where you can add your own personal touches to make it your own. Thanks for watching my latest design lesson video. If you liked the video, please hit that like button, share it with your friends, and don't forget to subscribe. Hit that notification bell so you don't miss the next episode. All of that helps to grow this channel. You can follow me on Twitter and Instagram, and if you need individualized help from me, find me on Patreon. If you have any design questions, let me know in the comments below, and it could be the topic of our next video. Again, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time. Okay, you can go now. You can go back to sleep?